is I think someone's using an electric drill. Or a blender. A blender makes more sense. I don't know what noises are going on in this neighborhood right now. And apologies if you can hear them in the background. Um, but I have already filmed this once and I went to edit it and it was really blurry and I don't know why. So I'm not gonna film this again for the third time. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is the third time I have tried to film this. I know the lighting is not great either. Um, but again, this is my third attempt, so. This is my seventh video, which means we have just finished six weeks of the weight loss journey. This video is gonna be a bit of a quick one. It's more so just a recap of the week that just was and where I'm at, as opposed to a certain topic or theme. All right, so let's recap the week. Uh, nutrition, it went well. Um, it's been staying pretty consistently good, not great. And that's coming down to um, mainly organization. So I am still getting to the weekend and not really being very organized with my meals and I end up just eating just average stuff. Um, and then I feel kind of gross. So I eat really well Monday to Friday and then the weekend rolls around and I just kind of don't care as much and I just do whatever I want. And not from like a, a huge calorie intake perspective or a binge eating perspective, but just, I don't know, just decisions that aren't as great, which in the scheme of things is fine if you do it every now and then. And I'm not concerned about it necessarily from a weight loss perspective. It's more so that I just feel really gross. So like on Sunday, for example, I had a coffee in the morning and then I, um, what did I do? I went and got my vaccine, my second um, COVID vaccine, and then came home, picked up Steve, we went and got another coffee, then we went to Bunnings, and after Bunnings we had a sausage, of course, we're not psychopaths. And then I got home at like one, and I was like, oh, why do I feel gross? Of course I'm gonna feel gross. I've had two coffees and a sausage and white bread all day. And then I just, I feel like I've got no energy and I feel a bit bleh, and it's just, so yeah, more of a dick, disorganization thing as opposed to anything else, but something I can um, still work on for sure. I love the feeling I'm getting during the week. I really want to keep that going on the weekends. Obviously it's not going to be quite the same as a weekday because it's the weekend, but I'd like to mirror some of those meals and some of those behaviors so that I can stay nourished and fueled and energetic for the day. Exercise went really well. I did my four sessions at half an hour each. Um, really liked it, I pushed myself, I came home kind of out of breath and really red faced and stuff. So, um, I mean, that's largely due to Brisbane weather, but also I did push myself, so that was good. I really enjoyed the walks, so yeah, they went well. Foam rolling was good. I hit my goal of um, once for the week. I find it really helps to do it in the evenings as part of like a wind down routine. It just, yeah, it's so relaxing, I love it. And the thing about foam rolling is that the results are instant. So as soon as you get up off the floor, you can feel a difference. Psyllium, psyllium husk, um, that went well. I ate it every day and I, I'm really noticing a difference, which is good and a relief. Uh, I also haven't actually said this in any of my videos, but psyllium husk is a fiber supplement, which is something that I take because my gastroenterologist told me to a few years ago and it's brilliant. So nutrition, exercise, foam rolling, psyllium husk. I think that was it. Um, I'm going to stop mentioning psyllium as its own goal. That's more of like a little habit that I wanted um, to discuss, but it's just wrapped up in nutrition and it's just going to keep ticking away in the background. Challenges this week. Um, yeah, look, still, still the groceries and the meal prep. I just can't quite, I don't know. I don't like it. Something I have found that's helped is buying my lunch every day. I've found a few places that do a really good lunch that's quite healthy and fresh and tasty. It only costs an extra 20 or $30 to buy my lunch each week than it would to make it myself. And I get that that amount adds up week by week by week. But for me, it's so worth it to spend that money. And it is to buy all the ingredients and 
spend my time making it and then eat something at lunch that's actually nowhere near as good as what I can buy. So I'm happy to keep spending that extra 30 bucks a week and having lunch just taken care of. Schedule and routine is another challenge that I'm facing. So I come home from work and sometimes I just feel a bit, I guess, manic. Um, like I feel like I have so much to do and then I just flap about and don't necessarily get much done. And I just feel stressed and I don't want to feel like that. I want to come home and be productive to an extent so that there's things getting done, but also have time to just chill and do nothing or um, relax and do something kind of fun. So I'd like to implement a better schedule, but not to the point where it's like every 10 minutes is accounted for. And I think part of that will also be building a better bedtime routine because I don't know, I'm just not sleeping as well as I should be. And I'm trying to get as, as many hours as I can, like around the eight to nine mark, but that is difficult to do at the moment. And even when I do, I, I still, I don't know if it's enough. I think I need a full routine in the evenings to get me ready for sleep. Because even if I put in a great amount of effort to get into bed by a certain time, sometimes I just lay there and stare at the ceiling for four hours and I can't actually fall asleep. So. Yeah, I need to work on that. <laughs> Goals for next week, nothing new. I'm going to do the four weeks again. I mean, the four walks again. Foam roll once a week. And with the nutrition, it's not really a new goal, but I want to improve on where we're at. I want to do better, I want to eat better, and I want to make that more consistent throughout the seven days. So we'll see how we go with that. And I will leave you with some footage of what I ate, what I drank, and some of the walks I did this week so you can get a more visual representation of what it was like. Oh, also before I forget, if there are particular topics or issues or questions that you want me to discuss, please let me know in the comments and I will see what I can do. Thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you in a week's time. Friday night is normally takeaway night, but we went out for dinner Wednesday instead. So I wanted to make a healthier choice. Got avo and eggs on toast. I'm doing a lazy steam. So there's some asparagus chopped up in there with boiling water. And just slide a plate on top for five to 10 minutes. And dinner tonight is salmon, asparagus in butter, oil, garlic, and salt, and leftover coleslaw. All right, guys, this is lunch today. We've got brown rice and chicken and pesto with potato and carrot and broccoli and cabbage and lettuce and baby spinach. So this is gonna be a good time. We treated ourselves to some seafood tonight. So we've got delicious tuna steaks on the barbecue, a one box salad, zucchini, Steve's homemade wasabi mayo and prawns. And beers. just fell into my eye and I've been trying to get it out. What a mess. This is one of my favorite times of evening to walk because the bats or flying foxes, whatever the little fellas are, they just fly over in droves and it goes on for ages. It's amazing.